Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are all well. If you're new here, my name is Ali and today we are going to be going through a brand new collection launching at Honor Active. Now we haven't had like a complete brand new collection in so long. This has been two years in the making. It was created with the help of over 100 sponsorship members, including me. I put my feedback into this and I'm literally so excited for you guys to finally be able to see what Honor has made through all of our feedback. So this is going to be a full try on haul and review of the brand new Unified collection. So as I said, this capsule is a complete brand new collection, something we haven't seen before at Honor. We also have four brand new colors come in, which you guys already know are going to love. So we have oil blue, blackberry, olive and velvet pink. 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 I'm sorry, but I was sold to this collection as soon as I heard there was a pink. So this is Honor Active's true performance collection. It has been tried and tested with strength training in mind specifically. So we are going to kick things off by showing you the brand new two sports bras that are launching. This bra that I'm going to show you is the Unified Twist Bra. And before I show you, be prepared for the boobage. <laughs> Ah, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> this is the Unified Twist Sports brand. First thoughts was, it's giving my boob job a boob job, guys. This twist bra very clearly has a low cut twist front style for an elegant and feminine look. As you can see here, we do have adjustable straps. So you have one that halters around your neck. And at the back, you also have this strap here, which sort of crosses over. One detail I love about this bra is the fact that you can actually take the straps off as well. So you can have like a backless fit, basically, which will look amazing for a back day. If I am to compare the material to current collections, it is most like timeless. Is that quite soft buttery fabric, but not quite the same as Timeless. It is made from a four way stretch fabric with sweat wicking properties. As with all Honor Active bras, you can remove the pads as well. This is definitely a low support sports bra. And as for the logo in, we got the raised heat seal logo. So I thought like with each piece, I'll try and give you like some likes and dislikes about each product to really help you ensure you buy the products that you want. So firstly, I love the design and I think it's so flattering. And if you were someone with a smaller chest, I really think that this will lift your boobs up. But in contrast, I also feel like I'm not sure if I could wear this to the gym because of how much like it just pushes up my boobs and I get that a lot of people will feel confident with that. But at the same time, I know a lot of people don't want their full on boobs on display. So I would personally say that this bra is probably for someone who is a bit more flat chested. Another thing that I find with this bra is that it does dig into my back a bit, but I feel like that could be explained by the fact that I am bulking and I am carrying more fat at the moment. So whether that happens when I cut down, I'm not entirely sure. It actually fall out. I don't know. I feel like I would just be a bit conscious wearing this to the gym. If I was going to wear it to the gym, I would definitely be bringing a jacket or a top with me if I want to hide. But yeah. So conclusion. If you are flat chested, you are going to fucking love this bra. Free boob job all around. If you have bigger boobies, just be cautious that your boobs are gonna be popping, like extra popping. <laughs> so yeah. Let me know what you guys think of this bra in the comments. I personally love it. The next bra we have is the Unified Layered Sports Bra. Now this is Definitely a lot more gym appropriate for me. It has this layered wrapped design that provides such a unique style. The straps cross over at the back, creating a twist detail. There's a hook and eye fastening on the back as well, which personally, like, I don't really like these types of fastenings. I actually got the loosest hook and eye 
attached right now and I do find again like it is like digging in a bit but again I think that might just be because I am a bit bigger right now. I'm not sure if it'll do it when I cut down. Like the other bra, you do have the removable pad in. And something else to note that the pads in the bra are always the same colour as the bra. So you won't see them. And this is definitely medium coverage. Again, crafted from that four-way stretch, sweat wicking fabric for maximum comfort when training the heat sealed logo on the front as well so i personally love the design of this bra i just think it's so flattering and so unique more coverage than the other bra and i definitely feel so much more secured i feel like i could do like a deadlift in this <laughs> <laughs> Again, the only thing I really dislike about the bra is the hook and eye fastening. I don't know why, I feel like that's probably just me because I suppose it makes sense, but I just find them awkward to do sometimes. I will say I do feel like the underband is digging in. But again, right now, like my current physique, I'm probably between a medium and a large, like for sports bras and leggings because... I am bulking. I'm honestly not sure which bra I like more. I love the first bras. I just feel so feminine and girly in it. Like, do you know what I mean? <laughs> but this bra is definitely something that I would 100% be more comfortable training in. Like, no boobage is out here, really. You have that bit of cleavage, but, like, you don't have your full-on, like rests out do you know what I mean so definitely feel more comfortable training in this and I definitely recommend you go for this bra if you do have a bigger bust so both of the bras will be launching in blackberry oil blue velvet pink olive black cool brown and white you are not going to believe your eyes <laughs> this is gorgeous how flattering it's sort of like when I first seen it reminded me of the timeless vests but oh my god so much better. So this is the unified v-neck cross back bralette. As you can see it is a fitted style it molds to your body and it is actually made with a built-in sports bra so minimal effort we love the minimal effort. It's got this plunging neckline for a confident style and to show off your boobies. <laughs> the straps are also adjustable to perfect the fit. The back of this design, like, oh my God, it is unreal. Again, as with all on active products, you have the removable padded cups, you have the raised heat seal logo, which is tone on tone on the front, as well as the back. And you also have like this little cross design here, which, I just, it adds so much. It's such a minor detail, but it adds so much. I just can't get over how flattering this top is and just how comfortable it is as well. Like guys, this is possibly like one of my new favorite products from Honor. Honestly, I am trying to think of something I don't like about this, but I would be lying if I said there was something I didn't like because it's perfect. It is literally perfect. I can't like, it kind of like feels like a swimsuit, if that makes sense. Like, I don't know, the material of it, like, uh, it feels like a swimsuit. Do you know what I mean? Like, I, you probably don't know what I mean, but I feel like I'm wearing a swimsuit. <laughs> so this will be launching in black, oil blue, blackberry, a velvet pink, cool brown, and white. Hey guys, so next we have the unified jacket, and I know what you're thinking, timeless jacket. But no, for a start, the material is different and it is that sweat wicking fabric. And it is different. So let me try it on so I can elaborate on the differences for you. So one of the first main differences is the fact that there are no zip pockets on the front here. There are no pockets at all in this jacket, which to me is kind of a bit of a downside. I kind of like to have pockets. I don't know, I just, I like knowing I have a pocket. Do you know what I mean? But these do not have pockets. Similar to Timeless, we have that raised heat seal logo that's tone on tone. At the back, we sort of have this interesting design. You can see there's like this hole right here. It's like a little sort of vent, I guess. 
So this is a fitted regular length jacket for performance. It is a long sleeved like timeless with thumb holes for distraction free training. It is zip through so you can wear it to your desired style. My personal loves are the thumb holes. I love the thumb holes like you don't realize how much like putting the thumb holes on really keeps the warm air in because it does. I do also love the vent on the back. I just I feel like it's such a nice little detail. Like mentioned the only downside for me is the fact that there are no pockets. I'm a, I'm a zip pockets girl you always know if you have been here for a while you always know how much I go on about my zip pockets. How dare they not give me a zip pocket. <laughs> do I like it more than the timeless jacket? I'm not sure. I feel like I'd have to wear it a few times before I sort of declared that, but I do really like it. You guys can't see my face from this angle, but next I'm going to show you the unified leggings. It is high-waisted with a supportive hidden mesh waistband. We have this glute separation detail here and this seam glute contour to really accentuate your bottom. We have the stitch detail in on the waistband here and a raised heat seal logo on the back. So we are going to do a squat test. I am currently wearing no underwear but I am going to put this black tag in my bum, not in my, <laughs> on my bum so you guys can see. Now I do want to note that it is recommended that you obviously wear nude no BPL fonts with this but this will just give you an indicator of how sheer the material is. So this is me not bending down, just standing straight. And now we're going to do a squat. So here are the unified shorts. Again, basically all of the same detailing about the leggings. You have the stitch detailing here, the glute separation, practically the same thing as the leggings, but as a short. These shorts are very high waisted and they are meant to be like that, but I sort of wish they were a bit lower. I just feel like they come up a bit too high. Wow, guys, this is actually so much nicer than I thought it would be. It is such a nice material and I just feel like it sort of suits me quite well. I feel like with these type of like v-necked sort of tops, it definitely suits a girl with a bigger bust more but that's not to say that you won't look good in it if you do have a small chest. So we have this soft v-neck with a scoop back. It is a loose fit design but I'm sure it would look nice tied up. It has a removable straps so you can take these straps off and make it a halter neck. It is regular length so it literally layers perfectly over your leggings and shorts. This is so soft and lightweight, making it like perfect for everyday wear. It is also the same sweat wicking material. I feel like this is going to be quite a staple. It is literally so versatile. I love it. I just feel like you could do so much with the vest. For example, like pull it and tuck it behind if you want like a more fitted fit. Last but definitely not least we have the classic oversized t-shirts also launching in the new colours. So you have the regular length one and the cropped length which will be coming. But yeah guys we have now gone through absolutely everything that is launching. Let me know your thoughts on this brand new collection. I definitely love it, especially the new tops. Hi guys, welcome to Ali in the Future. So I wanted to come on here now after I have actually tried and tested these pieces in the gym to give you my updates on them, how I found them, etc. 
So firstly, I am going to tell you guys something that was quite disappointing. I wore my Blackberry shorts to train glutes and now I was on the glute drive machine, hip rested heavy. And if you guys have been on the glute drive machine, it has that like material pad that you basically put over your body to give you the support to lift. And I just had that, I had no jumper underneath or anything. I just had that pad on me, hip pressed in. And unfortunately, on my Blackberry leggings, I have noticed that the threading has come up and has gone a bit bobbly. I'm not sure if that's going to focus. Obviously, this is quite disappointing and it hasn't happened with any other of my Honor Active leggings because when I do go heavy on the glute drive machine I am obviously always wearing Honor and I haven't noticed it happen to any other legging or short before. I do feel like the glute drive machine pad is a bit rough on my leggings so maybe I should have put like a top or like a hoodie underneath just for that protection on the material but at the same time it's like this is performance way so I don't feel like that should have happened regardless. But another thing being said, like, I don't know, I could just have a, what are they called? This, this something piece, I'll put on the screen. Um, <laughs> Cause I can't think of the word. I may have had one of those where obviously the material is just not right. So that was something I was a bit disappointed about, but I wore my oil blue set to the gym and I really liked that. It really held me well. I was doing like RDLs and stuff, completely like squat proof. You couldn't see anything. And I actually wore the cross bralette. And even though like it was very showy, at the same time, like I did feel secure. I didn't feel like anything was going to come out, which is a plus for me. So if you are bigger breasted, is that the word? then I feel like this will be absolutely fine for you. The velvet pink is like, do you know, I don't know how you would define a camel to whatever is just like material going up you, but like, do you know sometimes where the, like you can just see the line of your vagina basically guys. And I don't know, is. In certain lights, I sometimes get it in my effortless leggings as well, but with the velvet pink, I did notice that in certain lights, you could just see that like line of where my, where my badge is basically, guys. So that's a bit of a minus for me. But apart from that, I do really love the legging. I hope they do bring this velvet pink or like another similar shade of pink in effortless because I really love it. One of the other things that I have found with the waistband is I don't really like how compressive it is. I know a lot of you will, a lot of you are after compressive waistbands, but what I actually have found is the compressive waistband actually really squeezes on my fat and pushes it up and it just doesn't look very flattering on me personally. Um, I don't know, I just don't think, I think it's a bit too compressive is why I'm trying to say. And I also found the leggings, I don't know if it's just me, but like they are very high waisted. Like I wish they were a bit lower down. Like I would say I'm got quite a proportional body type. I wouldn't say I really have a long torso or long legs. I'm like quite proportional. And I did find that the waistband was quite high. If that's something you like, then absolutely brilliant. But I kind of like my waistbands a bit lower. I loved wearing the unified jacket. That felt really nice and comfortable to train in. And I do found, fi do found? <laughs> I did find that the little vent in the back did actually help it become more breathable. Be breathe <laughs> breathable. That being said, I didn't find the jacket very sweat wicking. It did take a while to wick up my sweat. Like my sweat patches were there throughout my session. Obviously I had her on throughout my full entire session. I was quite hot 
and I do sweat quite a lot like under my armpits so like the sweat marks once I finished my session were still there although when I got home like after I've been in the car and stuff they were gone so that being said I do sweat a lot under my armpits <laughs> I'm a big big armpit sweater guys I think that just about covers everything also I absolutely loved training in that vest I was surprised at how much I like the vest because I definitely felt like it was going to be one of those pieces that I didn't really like or wouldn't really want to wear but I did indeed like it. I loved it. But yeah that's my little after sort of training review of the collection. Definitely can wear it to lift weights. The leggings don't roll down as well. That's something that I've been asked. I found for me personally the leggings didn't roll down. The shorts like they didn't really roll up to be honest with you guys like I can't remember like having to keep pulling them down like I have with some shorts in the past and finally before I go I do want to say I ended up sizing up to a size large in the bralettes just because I found the material was digging in and I think it was made worse with the leggings like obviously because it was digging in around my underband and then the leggings were digging in as well it was just like really pushing my fat and I just didn't like how it looked so I tried sizing up in the bras to a large and that definitely did help although I feel like when I cut down I'm probably gonna be a medium in the bras um, I don't think they'll fit me when I do lose weight which if some of you don't know I am on a cut now I am trying to lose fat so yeah all in all i recommend you stick true to size if you're in between sizes size up as i said this is more compressive the waistband's really compressive i found the underband compressive so if you are unsure of your sizing size up if not stick true to your usual size I do want to mention that if you find my content helpful then I would appreciate it so much if you could shop through my link. This just supports me and my relationship with Honor and just know it goes such a long way. You guys will never understand how much I truly appreciate it. Anyway I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Let me know in the comments what you have got your eye on. I can't even think. What you have got your eye on and what you are planning on picking up. I would absolutely love to know your thoughts on this collection. I personally love it and I would love, absolutely love to see this colour palette in Effortless. I think it would be absolutely gorgeous. But for now guys, that is everything and I will see you in my next video. Bye! Oh, I can't get up! <laughs>